All right, guys, today we are on a mission to help you find brand new communities that might offer you the best overall value. And sitting right behind me here is a brand new community here in the East Valley by DR Horton. And what we're looking for is a combination of affordability, availability, location, incentives, all the things that when you combine them could give you the value that you're looking for when we're searching around for a home in this type of market. So we've got a couple different products that they have modeled there is a product that they have starting in the 300s you're going to have something that starts in the high 300s and then you've got another product that starts in the 400s these can go up into the four or five even 600 range but it does have a product that starts in the threes we want to share those with you and dr horton is also known to be really really helpful when it comes to incentive so we're going to share that information with you we're going to tour you through the models kind of give you what you should expect when trying to find a home in this price point we'll give you a little heads up on the location. This is a really awesome spot that not a whole lot of people know about. So we're gonna give you a little heads up on that. Maybe that might be helpful. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the model tour here real quickly. I've got uh, a good friend of mine who's gonna be joining me to help guide us through the tour, who is an absolute expert in this field. But let's talk about the things that we are going to cover. All those are gonna be important throughout the video. So we are gonna talk about the pricing and affordability. We're gonna talk about availability um, in all of the lots that are currently available. This is a community that's gonna be about 5,000 total lots and they're just getting started. We're gonna talk about location. This location is fantastic. Beautiful views surrounding you, close access access to everything you need. And we're going to talk about incentives and how that can help you make the right decision and some potential things you might not know about, some things that we might be able to offer when you work with us. So let's get into the model tour. Um, I'll introduce you to Cindy and we'll go from there. All right, let's bring Cindy in here. We're going to go tour some models. We'll talk about Cindy's experience a little bit later, but we're going to hit the Easton over here. They've got two models in the community. I'd like to have the opportunity to have Cindy join us because she is an absolute pro when it comes to new construction. So we're going to get Get her feedback as we walk through here. So let's go through the entry. And Cindy, you had a chance to kind of walk through these before. Give us your general first impressions. Well, this particular floor plan is one of my favorites because it's a true split plan. So there's going to be two bedrooms up here, and then the master is going to be on the other side of the house. Okay. They also have a bathroom in between, so both bedrooms can share it. And it's this bathroom is how it comes standard, which is really nice. It comes with granite. Yep. It comes with the recessed sink, which is pretty. It comes with cabinet hardware, which I'm surprised. Yeah, that's one of the big things that you'll find with this community and potentially, I don't know if it's all DR Horton communities, but all these are spec'd out. So the models are exactly what you see is what you get. It's not a situation where they're going to load it up with hundreds of thousands of options. And then the doors yep. are standard and they're like a six panel, which is very kind of contemporary. Right. The floorboards are four inch which is really nice they'll come with the ceiling fan outlet there not the light okay so so stuff like the the light fixture maybe is something that they would add yeah that was me that, yeah that would you would personalize it got it ceilings are nine feet which is nice it gives you that volume makes it feel kind of like bigger than it is yep which is nice here's one of the other bedrooms so it's just a, a real good split the stats on this we're looking at uh is this a four bedroom yeah this is four bedroom or three and a den if you want it that yep. way and yeah, this was about what great 1700 square foot yeah this is about 1700 square feet sales price is in like 440 yep. for the one we were picking out on alex's computer nice big kitchen it's again it's not the granite with the undermount sink this house according to alex it was going to come with the reverse osmosis now yep. which is huge in arizona our water is terrible so it's got that and then the appliances are going to be stainless steel they have packages of the fridge, washer, dryer that you can get included with them. Okay. This has got a great pantry. I do notice that they've got the 12, or these are actually 13 inch tiles, yep. which are very pretty. Some people want bigger tiles, yep. but I think this is fine. It's a neutral color. Yep. Nice big pantry right here. Does it have a light? Oh yeah, set a light, that's nice. Yeah, the door hardware is gonna be you know, your brushed silver. Oh, all the blinds are included. Okay. So Alex was saying, nice big eight foot slider that goes out. This is pretty much a standard yard. Now, backyards, one thing about new new home or new construction is mostly they don't come with standard backyard landscaping yep. with it. It will be just a clean slate of dirt. 
Good. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I don't want to say that everything's included and then have have anybody think that the backyard. So this would be a kind of a model backyard. Right. Um, so know that you're going to have to personalize it. That's right. kind of something that there most might people... be packages you can put into it. Yeah. But this is not standard. Yeah. Uh, very nice when you enter and see the space of it. I really like this. Some things that I've heard people do, like you can do barn doors. Like, you know, if you don't want this to be like just open into the master bedroom, you could, you know, lower that and yep. put a big barn door that slides. Or now they've got the slider barn doors as well. Right. So then nice. Let's go into nice the spacious master. Master bedroom here. Good windows. Carpet has a stain grade on it, which is nice. It's a good neutral color. Okay. Again, executive height master countertop. It's granite. Comes and food it that way, which is pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Got the recessed can lights instead of the light above. Okay. Which I think makes it more light. Walk in shower. Yeah. So no shower. No tub shower separate here. No, but... they don't do tubs. They did a big survey, I guess, according okay. to Alec, and people aren't wanting that space. They'd yeah. rather have it in their master bedroom. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I'm sure it comes in handy at the second bath if you have kids and that type of thing, but yeah. Uh, most of the time, those tub shower combo, or they're not the tub shower, the separate tub showers are ever, never, ever used. So Right, and they take up a bunch of space, you know, no. six feet by four feet. Let's see if they have a... Oh, another thing that she was explaining to me is they come with these security panels. Okay. So there's going to be a ring doorbell, and then the house is pre-wired for security. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it will tell you. You can hook it up so you can see actually who's at the front door. That's who turned off the alarm today. So yeah, that's it's that's a nice feature. Also, the thermostats are programmable, so you can actually program them to go up and down during the day, so you don't have your kids, you know, messing with them to make your house super cold or super hot. And I mean, a lot of this stuff sounds like you know it, it should be optional, or it sh yeah, it should be optional because there's a lot of builders that make these upgrades. So it is nice that they go ahead and just like include it with the price, so you're not yeah, having they just try to make tack on a bunch more stuff. all inclusive, which I really like that. Yep. You know, when you bring people here, they're very happy that they don't have to tack a bunch onto the price that they see. Okay. I like it. Well, let's check out the other one. All right, real quick, you guys, as we're going through, I also want you to comment down below the price point that you're looking for when it comes to new construction. We're gonna be trying a bunch of different areas and we're gonna be taking feedback from you as far as what kind of price points do you want us to target the most. Let us know and we're gonna go find those communities for you and give you as much information as we can. Comment below, let us know what price point you're looking for. So now that you know that, let's take you through the second model with the product that starts in the 300s. All right, so let's go ahead over to a smaller product. So we're gonna hit the Caroline model up here. This is the other model. This is a 1500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, single story. These are gonna be on a little bit smaller lot sizes. These are gonna be like 30 wide plans. They're gonna have like a little bit less included than what we just saw over in the Easton. But these are the ones that you could potentially land in the 300s from a price point perspective. So we wanna show you guys this. We wanna kind of demo it as well because if you're looking for the most affordable all around to get in this community this is the product that will get you there so cindy why don't you uh kind of guide us through and we'll take a look at this as well and this caroline that's 1500 square feet this is a great front cover well really nice you can see that they still do that they've got the ring doorbell yeah so they still got the security okay to so walk in i think you'd mention like maybe you know smaller included tile that kind of a little smaller yep. they look like they're more of a 12 inch or 14. Funny. Looks like it's the same color. Yep. Nice tall ceiling. Still, you still have the ceiling nice height. Ceiling. The blinds are definitely still included. That, that's a plus. Oh, we got. And that must go out to the garage. All the garages, from what Alex said, are all the same size. Okay. So it's really nice that they're going to be a good twenty feet wide. Yeah. One of the things we noticed when we were walking through another home that was like a spec home is looking at the garage sizes. And you know, I don't know how many homes I've gone through that are so tight, especially in this type of product where you can't even get two cars in these they actually allow you to have that two car entry which is great it's got the sink in the island yeah and it's got that overhang now you do have the laminate versus the granite yeah that's one difference here a laminate it looks like it doesn't come with the um hardware for the cabinets but you okay. can go home depot and do that pretty simply yourself yep. yep little details but things that you know just 
we want to let you know about so you kind of know the difference. Kitchen, there's not a lot of cabinets in this kitchen. They're yep. just two different banks. However, right. it looks like you could definitely extend and do like a buffet or some type of cocktail bar or something in this area right. as well. Because I don't know if you're going to do that table that big or not, but that's a, a good size table. Well, in, in city, one of the reasons I'm glad you're here because with as many homes as you've sold, you kind of know how to be creative when there's maybe a challenge with what builders do. And so it's like, okay, how can you come up with something that maybe solves the problem if the builder doesn't include it? So I think yeah, that's helpful. That would be a good option. Yeah, and it's got the eight foot sliders, which lets a lot of light in. I know a lot of builders just do little short ones, but that's very pretty. The backyard looks like it's you know, a little smaller. It's still a good size. And here comes Alec Chan. It's still a decent size for the width of it. So that's nice. Yeah, this is a nice size master for the square feet. Wow, this is great. It is. Yeah. I like how they split the blind instead of making just one big yeah. blind. The nice size master, again, it's got the, it's just got the from like it pops in the drop-in sinks. But you still have dual sinks. It's, yeah. It's not a bad size. Still have the walk-in shower. Mm -hmm. And a walk-in closet for the yeah. square feet. That's decent. And they also do the elongated toilets, which is very nice. Yeah. They don't do the kid seat ones yeah well it, again it's it's one of those things where you might think just walking through some of the models that like all this stuff's included but then you start looking at some of when you're walking through communities you realize there's so many things that, that you get have to pay for extra like on top either yeah. the other, which is nice it's an upper end whirlpool yeah it's a decent decent dishwasher sure oh. self-clean range and you've got your built-in microwave if you get a fridge it's gonna be the whirlpool then nice walk in pantry. Yeah, that's nice. So just shelving. Decent sized secondary bath too. And there's your bathtub if you have a little kid. Okay. So it's nice that they do a tub. No, it's good to know because again, like there's gonna be some families coming in. You wanna have a good spot that you know that is gonna be kid friendly as well. As someone who has a four year old and a one year old, I know how important uh, uh, baths yeah. can be. <laughs> yeah. So having a, uh, a good bathtub is uh, definitely worth its weight in gold. You could put queen size beds in these rooms. So if you wanted to do one as a guest room for like the mom and dad or, you know, adults to actually come. Yeah. That's pretty nice. That's one of the things too that you find. You, you find secondary bedrooms can be so small and it is nice when you can find like a little extra space. Yeah, this is a great floor plan. All right, guys, as I tour through the community a little bit, I do want to stop and take some time to talk about the location because I do think that was a big surprise for me when I found this community. I didn't even know about this community a couple weeks ago, but let's bring up a map because I do want to show you where we are. We are right behind the East Park, directly to the east of the East Park community in Mesa that everybody loves to talk about as much as they do. There's a lot of positives about East Park. This is just sitting right behind it here, which is, again, when you're talking and comparing the price point, it really does offer a great value when you consider how close you are to the East Park location, to all the shopping and the stores and getting on the freeway and getting kind of in it to town if you need to. So there's a lot of positives when it comes to that. It is nice and tucked away back here so there's obviously uh, there's going to be a lot of building going on but it's fairly quiet right now and you do have some awesome views of the superstition mountains um, just behind you so really good spot a lot of people might not know about it because if you're searching for new homes in mesa like east park is in you're not going to see this community because we're actually just across the border into apache junction there is a part of apache junction that kind of comes down this far south I didn't even know that myself either. So don't let the Apache Junction name fool you because we're kind of tucked in this area that all kind of feels like where we're at on the East Park side of Mesa. So I'll give you that as kind of a secret heads up that we found out about. Not a lot of people are finding this community because they're not searching for new homes in Apache Junction. All right, Cindy, let's go check out the sales office and talk to Alex here. Hey, how are you? Welcome in. Hi, Alex. Hi. Thank you for having us today, by the way. We appreciate it. So we wanted to come in and just kind of get a general idea. We wanted to share with the viewers, um, just kind of show quickly what's going on with the floor plans, run down the pricing, and then 
you know, just kind of talk about what you guys are doing, how many lots are available, what's going on. So why don't we just start with like a quick community rundown? You want to just take us through like a quick snapshot of what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. So this is the land that Daryl Horton purchased in 2019. We're about two square miles. There will be a total of 5,000 homes here. Uh, we currently have an $85 a month HOA. That's going to include um, our large amenity center that will have a gym and some offices included in that. Um, a large swimming pool. We will have a splash pad for the kiddos um, and a large climbing gym. For nice. Well. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How close are you to the nearest grocery stores? Secondary. Uh, we do have schools very close by. Our current schools for the community are um, Apache Junction schools, so they are in Baseline and Ironwood. We have had children accepted into more of the closer communities, um, more in Mesa. Um, and then we will be having our own schools built here as well. Um, closest grocery store is about a mile and a half away. Um, that's going to be our safe way. You mentioned schools. Like, is there open enrollment with schools if people needed to right now? Do they have that option? Yeah, that's okay. something great about Arizona is um, it is an open enrollment state. So if they do have open positions to take in new children, they can do that. Okay. So. Super helpful when the community is like this, where they're brand new, and maybe they don't have the schools already here. So yeah. good to know. Okay. All right, guys, uh, let's talk about incentives. We just got done meeting with Alex. And if you didn't realize, Alex is actually Cindy's daughter and uh, one of our, one of my favorite people of all time. So if you talk to Alex, you come by this community, make sure you tell her that you saw our video. But let's talk through the incentives because one of the big things that DR Horton is offering right now is buying down the interest rate. You know, at, at the current rates, they're going to typically go ahead and give you an incentive that buys you down into that like 5.99 rate. And then they do offer another 2-1 buy down to get you kind of started in, you know, the 3.9, 4.9 rates as well. So that's a huge, huge advantage for those of you who really need that help getting those payments down. There are some other packages as well. If you, if you talk to us, if you talk to Alex that you might be able to get in on that as well. So talk to us specifically to kind of go through some of those things that we can uh, maybe share with you that might not find in any other places, but there are some great incentives to help you with covering closing costs and potentially buying down your interest rates. That's a huge thing right now. All right, guys, we're going to start looking for that next community. Again, give us your feedback. Let us know what type of communities you're looking for, what price point, what location, and we will target those. We'll start kind of looking based on the feedback that we receive. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to us. Uh, we're here to help guide you in the right direction. And make sure to give us a call because we might be able to offer you something special, especially here with DR Horton here in this community that might be, you know, something that is a very good fit for you. So give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We got your back. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.